Tommy, the world is the weirdest that it's ever been in the history of the planet of this earth. You sure about that? Oh, I'm positive about hmm. that. Okay. You, you're not sure? Well, there was the plague. What do you mean the plague? What that does that weird. have to do with weirdness? Well, that was pretty weird. People were dying and didn't know why. <laughs> People are dying today and they don't know why. Yeah, they know why. Why? Because they're old. Oh, that's why? <laughs> People have this old age? Not yeah. me. I'm immortal, sir. <laughs> Uber's weird. Uber is weird. I did it once, and it was very weird. Were you creeped out the whole time? I was wasted, but yeah. Yeah, very creeped out. Oh, my God. First, when we were young little baby children, we were taught not to get into the cars with strangers. Sure. And then when we were older, we were told not to pick up strangers. Right. And now all of a sudden, we just throw both ideas out the fucking window. <laughs> so my dad said, he's like, I never use Uber. And it's like, well, they have to have a background check, right? Mm, I don't know. The rancy the st- bastard does Uber, <laughs> and he's shady as all get out. I guess the strangers don't have a background check. They didn't do no background check on me to get in that guy's car. No, and you left all sorts of unspeakable stains in that backseat. <laughs> I was in the front. Isn't that the weirdest thing? Oh, right. you were the co-pilot? You were <laughs> navigating the ship? Oh, God, it was terrible. Did he let you touch the radio? No, he w- he didn't speak English. Okay, yeah. so you didn't touch the radio. No, thank God. That's like it was. It was completely silent. That's there. like molesting his girlfriend. Yeah, it was really weird. Oof! What station was he listening to? He didn't have the radio on. Oh, that's even worse. Oh yeah, it was. It's complete silence. Complete. Did you try talking to him? Yeah, oh yeah. Did you say, "I'm my name is Tommy. I'm a good guy." Uh, pretty much. Yeah, I was wasted, and the beloved was in the back, pretty drunk too. So, oh man, she kept making fun of me. She kept going. Where you? I, I guess I kept going. Where are you from, man? And he would go, "I'm from Egypt." And I go, "No shit! Wow. I want to go to Egypt." She said that was pretty much the whole like 45 minute car ride. What a lucky <laughs> duck that man was that day. <laughs> Things are just not right these days. Yeah. Some of these days I get up and I'm just like, "Oh my god, this again!" Miserable I got retail it, day. I got to deal with this again. Hmm. Like I was shot right out of a bad moon cannon. <laughs> bad mood cannon. Oh. It's hard to speak sometimes, mm-hmm. you see. Mm-hmm. It's hard to enunciate. That's an issue. I know. Uh, Randy wakes up seething sometimes. Really? I do. You just wake up in a terrible mood. Randy wakes up seething is the name of my next album. <laughs> Randy and the Seethers. Uh, yeah. And then <laughs> and then something sometimes something happens like what I saw yesterday. And it just brightens my entire universe. What'd you see? A puppy pieces. dog? Oh, man, that would do it. Mm-hmm. A little fluffy one. <laughs> you know, the ones that actually grow up to be dogs, not the little rats that stay rats, their entire stupid existence. Sure. Ugh, gross. <laughs> no, I saw a sight that will startle you for the rest of your days. But it was a good startled, apparently. Well, I mean, it pleased me to no end. Because Did you see a butt crack? Oh, that's never a good sight. Really? Never in the history of the universe has a butt, a rogue butt crack been good. Oh, I, it always makes me laugh. Does it? Oh, God, yeah. I said that like an Irishman or Scottishman. <laughs> Does it? Does it? <laughs> I always enjoy a good quaking episode. A good quaking? Ne- what? Yeah, that's a, what we call it. It's a a quaking? Quake. It's a quake. A quake. Yeah. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Explain. That's just when you see like a little, like their butt crack hanging out. They're quaking. Mm. Mm-hmm. Like a Quaker? I don't know. I don't know where it came from. I That's think you're making we all this shit up. Yeah, maybe so. Oh, my God. That makes no sense whatsoever. Hmm. I mean, this will be a story to tell all your cherished loved ones, and okay. they will hand it down from generation to generation like a beautiful folk tale. We'll see about that. Oh, you will see about that, sir. So I was I was at the grocery store with my father. Have you ever had a father before? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. How'd that work out for you? He's great. Awesome. Yeah. So <laughs> in this particular instance, my father, my papa, went into the grocery store. I was sitting in the back seat. Oh, what? Yeah, that's right. Knock on wood. Because, right? because I like to be fancy. I like to Wait, feel like I'm being chauffeured. Is it just you and your dad? Around. Well, the whole fam actually oh, went. Okay. They got dropped off elsewhere, so I just happened to be in the back seat. <laughs> I'm still fancy, get, though. You didn't get in the front. You just I went didn't. to the opera, James. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's how I roll. 
<laughs> so you playing Uber with your dad? I was playing Uber. He was <laughs> definitely my Uber driver. He got no tip either. None. Daddy Uber. Yes. So I'm sitting in the back seat. <laughs> Randy, who's your daddy? Uber daddy. Okay, that's unnecessary. Sorry, I'm getting D boy. Oh. Yuck. So I'm <laughs> sitting in the back seat and I see a man across the way parked. Okay. Sitting in his shitty, stupid car. Okay. And he looked like one of those perverts you've read about. I, I don't know if I've read about perverts. Oh, but... let me let me explain. He looked like the creepiest uncle you've ever had. Oh. You ever have a creepy uncle? Uncle Bob, probably. Possibly Bill. No, my Uncle Bill's really cool. You do have an Uncle Bill. Everybody has cool. an Uncle Bill. Uncle Bill's a cool man. Such as generic stereotype to have an uncle bill <laughs> it really is oh just because there was a lot of people named bill when they were born in the 50s yeah i know that's awful all these bills <laughs> have your own identity why don't you so i'm like looking at this man and he looked like the creepiest uncle he had the shittiest fucking hair you've ever seen mm-hmm. just the poopiest hair and he had this dumb handlebar mustache oh i like those do you this one was dumb hmm I'm like, why don't you step into a cornfield and be some poor farmer's scarecrow, you raggedy man? <laughs> why are you in this parking lot being a, a freak like you are? Was he parked all by his lonesome? He was parked all by him by his lonesome. Like far in the back? Yeah. And he, if you were st- to step in that car, I'm sure it smelled like Old Spice and Apathy. <laughs> and I'm sure he smokes the, the cheapest cigarettes you've never heard of. Like Skeleton Key or Tar Baby or something <laughs> stupid. Gross. So I'm like, what do you got over there, old pervert man there, mm-hmm. sitting there in this public place? And he's sitting there at his steering wheel, and he's got some panties. What? Panties. How close did you get to this man? I could see him from the way. Mm. Yes. And the reason I could see these panties is because he was probably... Holding them up. He was, like, showing them to you? He was showing them to himself, I think. He was checking them out? He was really checking them out. He was holding them in front of his eyes, (laughs) pulling them, seeing if they would stretch. Weird. Very. And then he was draping them over the steering wheel and (laughs) really just staring at them, you know? (laughs) just I'm like, what do you got there? Some grocery store panties? Were they granny panties? Well, they were they were a large woman size, I would think. I mean, I I was not up close. Were I, they white? <laughs> they were turquoise. <laughs> they were purple. He he kept pulling out all these panties and like what, looking at them. What'd your dad say about this? Well, he was like, "Look at that guy," and then he went into the <laughs> store, and I'm I'm like, <laughs> I just left. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm gonna sit right here. Like, did you put the child safety locks on? Yeah, you? exactly. Come on, dad. <laughs> That's you left a. You can't leave me in the car. You can't leave a baby in the car. <laughs> Your child How dare in the you? Car? I'm. I'm like. There's a, a pervert freak right there, and you <laughs> left a baby like, in a car. Your dad's like, I want you to see this before I leave you alone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make sure you notice that guy. And so, and my my other thought was, there's a post office attached to this grocery store. I'm like, well, what do you got there? A sweet little pervert package that you're <laughs> inspecting right now? Wait, is this a grocery store in Clio? Yeah, for oh. sure. Hmm. And I'm. It, it was. The weirdest thing, at a certain point, I thought he was staring right at me and holding these panties up because <laughs> I could see the, the top half of his face, like his eyeballs like and his you, dumb glasses. Like it was Wilson from Home Improvement? Exactly. And, and the fence <laughs> were these purple panties. And I'm like... You're like, I don't think so, Tim. He's, exactly. He's playing some weird game of panty peekaboo, and I'm not, I'm not a part of this. I will not be a party of this game. And then this, this lone boy pulls up, a few spots over, right? And uh, I look over, and the dude's on the cell phone. He did a responsible thing. He was on the cell phone. He pulls over. He's going to park and have his combo in peace. Hmm. Oh, not in peace, because Panty Man saw the boy pull up and park there, and his head slowly turned out his driver's side window, and he sneered. I could see his stupid white teeth sneering at... The, have you ever seen a sneer in real life? Like he was, like, growling at him? I don't know what was happening. All I saw was white teeth. <laughs> you I'm, didn't call the cops? Why wouldn't I call the cops? 
Why wouldn't you? Yes. Yeah, so you did call the cops. No, for no. <laughs> are you? You think I'm a conscientious citizen? <laughs> snitches are you kidding get stitches. Me? Huh? Exactly. <laughs> I'll get, wake up in the night with some granny panties wrapped around my throat. Oh, like you wouldn't enjoy that? Well, maybe a little bit. <laughs> you know, auto erotic granny asphyxiation. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, he, he. I saw the white. You know how a dog? They say a dog smiles. Yeah. And the, you just see the whites of their teeth. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what he did, this dog. This old dog with his panties. Gray hair or what kind of hair? Oh, well, he had shitty brown hair, thinning and stupid. You know? So he's probably mid-40s, maybe? He was anywhere from 37 to 58. Okay. He was very just, he didn't take care of himself. Big guy or small guy? Small. The yeah. gauntest man. He he could be a scarecrow. <laughs> In in the winter time, <laughs> if he only had a brain, huh? Well, he's got some panties to spare. That's for goddamn sure. And the whole time Dad was in the store, he never left. No, he never left. In fact, he was still there when we left, <laughs> just counting his panties. Wow! Right? That's very interesting, isn't it? Just the most interesting thing. I'm glad you had that experience, and it, you might be right. That might be passed down from generation to generation. I think it should be. I think you should have went inside VG's and warned everybody. <laughs> There's a dude with panties out there. <laughs> Beware. It's not me. It's, it's not me. It's not me. Whatever, you, whatever <laughs> not rumors you've time. heard. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know if they were used panties. Ew. Why would you speculate that? I, well, you know. God, I hope not. Although my friend, uh, one time we went up there and we were really drunk at this same uh, grocery store. And it was like, it used to be 24 hours. Mm-hmm. And we were walking in to get more alcohol, and there was a pair of panties laying next to the uh, garbage can outside, and he put them on over his face. <laughs> you got to put them on over your face. <laughs> That's the only way you know how they fit. <laughs> he walked in with the panties on, like the fucking line was right over his nose and everything. Oh, man. Yeah. Did, it, did his... Wait, were they granny panties, or were they No, they dudes? were a thong. They were a thong, even better. <laughs> he was wearing it like a fucking like Venom's mask from the WWE. Oh, like <laughs> the the WWE. Well, what was it? The WWF back then? What was, <laughs> was that? It? The Jewish wrestling? No, who who was Federation WWE? Who was the big fat guy? Not Venom, but he had I that mask. I don't know what you're you know, even trying he, to tell me. His eyes were cut out of it. <laughs> oh my god, Venom! What was his name? Uh, his name was D Boy. Drop that beat. <sighs> Summer Shandy on Thursday. We so motherfucking out here, though. We never been this out here. Woo! <laughs> Gonna walk all over you Pressure pushing down on me Pushing down on you Shit, let's raise the roof Woo. About time, it's the era of the rebels Cloud nine in the era of the vessels Generation fearless Got a taste for weirdness Flow on fire, that's the way my beard is Hard times, jump start the grind It's all good, y'all Things fall apart sometimes Let it go, let me know when you're ready, though Don't push me, cuz Until the edge, I'm close When the time comes Ride for something Or live to be nine And then just die for nothing Speak their heart Your baby speak their mind And I'ma play their part And I'ma freak that Rhyme one time for you Rhyme one time for you I'm an island, man There ain't nothing else by me, man I drink enough whiskey To float a battleship around this bitch Any motherfucking how Welcome to the Miserable Retail Slave Show. We're coming to you from the pod shack outside beautiful Flint, Michigan, USA. My name is Randy. The mouth of the South, Tommy Thompson, is over there. Hey, Miserable Retail Slave live. Oh, we're totally live, baby. I'll check that. What? I don't know. What did you say? Why do you keep saying the weirdest? I'll check that. I'll check that. I'll check a chow. 
my God. What are you beatboxing over there? You're no D boy, sir, for Christ's sake. T boy. T boy. What's my new rap name? My God, you're just a mess. <laughs> and I would expect nothing less from you over there. You piece Who is of the shit. fat goddamn wrestler that started with a V? Maybe I think. Viscera. No. Uh, it was. And you're wrong. No, it wasn't Viscera. Maybe it wasn't a V. Maybe I'm totally wrong. He was really fat, and he had his eyes cut out of his mask. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why don't you look up on the internet how to get a life, okay? Could you do that oh, for I me? I should Google you 90s of shit? wrestlers. Oh, you should Google how to uh, learn what you're talking about on a live podcast. Mm. We are live. God bless you all for tuning in. You sons of bitches, we've never done this before. Live. Mm-hmm. How's this working out for y'all? Is it's it, fun. Is it the weirdest thing you've ever heard? Sure. Probably. Probably. Mm-hmm. And if the, it's the first time you've ever listened, welcome. Yeah, crying thanks out loud. for listening. Man, where have you been all these times? Yeah, Why five you, years now? Almost six times. Oh, Jesus. Toms, we're, we're approaching <laughs> the sixth year anniversary, for Christ's sake. Oh, God, that's so depressing. Isn't it, though? You spent so much of your life devoted to nothing. <laughs> oh, my true. God. This is my group therapy, though, right? It is your group therapy. This is how you get through your miserable life. Remember when I used to just get blackout drunk every episode? I do recall that, yes. <laughs> There's uh, audio footage of that, in fact. Yeah. Yes. You approached it uh, a couple weeks ago, in fact. Yeah, I was getting pretty drunk one night. You were I getting stopped. pretty drunk, weren't you? Yeah, not tonight. Oh, no, no. Yeah. If it was is your first time listening we are a big dumb comedy show yeah sometimes sometimes we're we're very big and dumb tonight (laughs) especially tommy over there i don't know how comedic we are we'll figure it out Uh, i have an important question to ask you tommy thompson Uh you're a man of infinite wisdom so obviously you must have some some knowledge on this butter me up Oh, butter you up, buttercup. <laughs> I will butter you up like a big fat turkey boy. <laughs> yeah, butterball. So here's my question to you. How long until girls start getting plastic surgery to look like their favorite Snapchat filter? Oh, that's amazing. I feel like this is inevitable. Is it not? Yeah, I think that millennials will do this. A bunch of half dog hybrids roaming about. You know what I was thinking? Oh my God, look at me. I like hot AF. People that turned 18 this year were uh, were born in the new millennium. Isn't that fucked up? Adults. Yeah, I like born. I like how they they keep the uh, cigarette and alcohol age posted <laughs> on the cashier to to remind me of my sure how old impending we impending mortality. I right. love that. That's like <laughs> oh great, that was the year I fucking graduated high school. High yeah, school, and these little babies were fetuses. Wow. Oh, now they can ruin their fetuses. Yeah. With alcohol and drugs. Don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> That's our alcohol and drugs. Alcohol is a drug. Alcohol and cigarettes. How about that? Okay, thank you. What's the big fat fucking wrestler's name from the nineties? Um, <laughs> don't know. Don't care. You know, I'm gonna keep going back to this. But seriously. These Snapchat filters. How long like the ones until with the that... doggy ears and the little uh, nose? Or the little pinch? Have you ever seen the pinched up face with the oh, high yeah. pitched voice? These little yeah. oyster faces. Can you imagine a bunch of those running around? <laughs> oh Jesus! Uh, I wish y'all would just at last on this earth, fifteen seconds, and then vanish out of my sight like a good <laughs> Snapchat just does. Explode and float away. Go away. I'm surprised it hasn't been a game show yet. <laughs> Who wants to be a Snapchat? Who can have the snappiest of chats? Uh, they couldn't do that. There'd be lines around the corner. There would be lines. Remember that that fucking show, The Swan? Yeah. Way back in the day, this was a program, a reality show, where uh, people lined up, uggos lined up to be so beautiful. They got their faces all hacked to pieces, and uh, it was all shown on the telly. <laughs> so why not this, you know? Why not this? Hmm. I'm not here to judge, though. If you want to do that, why not? I was an on in an online dating site not too long ago. Which one? It was the POF. Okay. So many fishes on that site. Mm-hmm. You understand? Yeah. Oof. And and I'm, I look at this girl, and she's sitting there with these snakes and spirals all over her dumb body. And I'm like, oh, that's cool if that's your thing, you know? Right. To, to to look like you passed out drunk in a sorority house and people attacked you with a Sharpie. <laughs> it's not my idea of a good time, but if that's how you want to have your tattoos, cool. 
And they were real? Oh, they were real, baby. Oh, yeah. So real. <laughs> you never have it never had the urge to have a snake on your dumb body? I got plenty I got three snake tattoos. See? So why are you saying <laughs> weird then? You just judge yourself. How dare you? I have zero snake tattoos. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> By the way, I think uh, a few weeks ago I went to Tommy's show, and I think that another entry in our glossary of neck tattoos needed to be added. It was our bartender at a certain bar we went to. He was a big, burly bartender man, and he had a full-on Hello Kitty on the back of his (laughs) fucking neck, like a faithful reproduction of Hello Kitty. It's beautiful. Not a vicious Hello Kitty, not a slutty Hello Kitty, just straight-up Hello Kitty action. No, it was perfect. How do you think that... That treats the ladies there. I think they love that a lot. <laughs> it was it was very quite odd, wasn't it? Yeah. I don't like to judge, but I might be judging that one a little and bit. This is inside an Irish pub too, so it definitely we didn't walk into like some gay bar or anything. Yeah. Oof. Or maybe we did. Maybe it was the gay Irish pub. I don't know. Uh Nicholas in the, the chat says Yokozuna. Is that who you're thinking? No, of? no, no. He was he was he was definitely American. He was definitely American. Yeah. I mean I think Yokozuna was too, but he portrayed a Asian. Oh, man. He wasn't as, I don't think, Watch Vader, your... Vader, Vader. Oh, there we go. Big Van Vader. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Remember, he had the eyes cut out of his mask? Yeah, he had a like mask. some underwear. Okay, yeah, I got it now. Okay. He looked, oh, that makes sense. It looked like he had thank a jock you. strap on yes, his face. Yes, thank you. Boy, oh, boy. God. Nobody else got that, but <laughs> I'm glad that, you know, Albert Einstein <laughs> discovered the theory, theory of relativity. Tommy Thompson... Just dawned on the name of a mid nineties wrestler that he cared about. They had underwear on his head. Cool. I know that we're all master illusionists in our our online pictures these days. Lots of smokes and mirrors goings on theirs. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Ugh. I mean a woman. I I I guarantee a woman will be the one to be able to put human beings on Mars because they've become so brilliant. In mastering geometry and angles these days. Man, you are reaching, aren't you? No, I'm not, because they can get the perfect selfie angle like nobody's business. Oh, I see what you're saying. If they can, I mean, I've got a master's in the selfie. That will be a class in college one day (laughs) when social media is our currency. Called self-presentation class? Yes, exactly. But can we stop once and for all on with these Snapchat filters on these online dating sites? What do you got to hide, ladies? Oh, well, girls love it. That's like the same thing with, it's like the duck lips. Yeah, well, guess what? I, I get that you're all quirky and fun. You're just free and independent wildfire mm. flowers. Yeah, They're just insecure, I think. And I get that you're just a girl in a country music song. Come to life, but come on. <laughs> let me see your dumb face for crying out they loud. They don't want you to. Have some get self. Get to know them first. Maybe. Have some selfie steam, would you? Mm, selfie steam. Yeah. I like that. That's a callback to a episode five years ago, Tommy. <laughs> I don't remember. I know. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't. <laughs> How many whiskeys did I have before I got oh, here that oh night? Oh, my gosh. So many whiskeys. So many whiskeys. I used to drink like a fucking pint before we started and then have like three or four tall boys while we were doing it. Jesus. Mm-hmm. And a pack of cigarettes. Jesus had nothing to do with your ills, sir. <laughs> he was busy turning water into wine. You were Jesus. busy just blackout. Puking. Killing myself, yeah. Man. Some future archaeologists will look back on our society someday. 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 And like being an archaeologist in the future won't be a hard job whatsoever because we put our shit out for right. all existence to see. It's all right there. So right. not a hard job. You can sure. put away your little fucking toothbrush that you scrub not, in the dirt. Yeah, we're not hiding shit underground yeah. anymore. Just log right? into the archives of MySpace.com. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. They're gonna look back and they're be like, they're gonna be like, oh, he's, well, they seem to have a fondness for nature there. Mm. <laughs> mm, look at this. Mm. Yeah, there's really nothing hidden anymore, is there? There's nothing hidden anymore. But you ladies, you can't trick me with a some cartoon deer mask with your Snapchat <laughs> filters. I mean, if that's your face in real life, if if you actually got the surgery, I might applaud you. I really? won't date you, but I'll applaud you. Really? Yeah. Why not? Sure. Why not? Although the she did look kind of cute as a cartoon deer. <laughs> you know? You attracted to animals. However, I realized I did send her a message once before. You're like, what up, Bambi? And you can't send a double message. That's needy. Sure. That is sure. so needy. That's desperate. 
It's so desperate. Mm-hmm. Same philosophy. But you're pretty desperate. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm so desperate. You don't even know. <laughs> Same philosophy even applies to getting back with the next uh, girlfriend or boyfriend. Sure. That's needy. Right. So desperate. Sure. It's like trying to reheat fries. <laughs> yeah, it never works, does it? Never quite as delicious. <laughs> Not quite as enjoyable. Something just ain't right. Something's a little bit off there. Mm-hmm. Something's a little bit off. However, if that girl that I failed to double message... Decides to message me. Game on. Oh, my God, no. <laughs> oh, no, that's too aggressive. I shut down all the wireless. I turned down all the lights. I set up a bunch of Home Alone-style traps, like a bunch of swinging paint cans. And Wait, you don't want the girls to message you? Well, that's way too aggressive. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> what? Are, where, where are your priorities at in life that you're tossing yeah. yourself at me? So You just keep getting the ribs, don't you? Listen. So if this is your first time listening, we we like to say a bunch of things, a bunch of inside jokes to keep our show as inaccessible as possible. <laughs> One of them is getting the ribs. It's but a popular listen, phrase. Yeah, but if you listen, then you can start using it. So too. getting the ribs refers to the fact that I went on a date, I, Laura, and I uh, completely dropped the ball, but I you got... You dropped the chicken. <laughs> I did, that's, that's another, another inside joke. <laughs> And uh, I dropped the ball, and on that date, I got ribs and ate them with a knife and fork, and so that became the joke. That became the joke. Goddamn serial killer. I mean, what you fail to realize, however, (laughs) what you all fail to realize is I've been getting the ribs for a very, (laughs) very long time. Like that doesn't surprise me. Like, I mean... I might not have literally bought ribs and ate them, but I've been getting those ribs, baby. Most people, I think, are conscious of the fact, like a first date, they should probably get something that won't be a mess. Okay, well, but you Randy know what? just goes. <laughs> Guess what? I'm the world's <laughs> biggest scrub lord. Come worship me, big whoop. Can I get something that will cover my face in a bunch of sauce? And- Get my teeth probably a little bit. Get my bit. teeth, so I'm like picking at it with my You'll stupid probably, my fingers. My hands will be covered. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, I know what I'll do. I'll cut. I'll cut the ribs like a goddamn serial killer. Yeah. The, well, that's what I. So I was thinking about this the other day, like a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away when I was in dumb college, <laughs> and I was in a psychology class with our old pal. You had him too, Professor Friedman. Yeah. Remember this guy? Yeah. Oh Rest my gosh. In peace. R.I.P., bro. Pour one out for homie. Mr. Friedman. Yeah. He he was the world's most inaccessible professor. <laughs> like, he, nothing made sense. He talked very, very, very intelligent and sophisticated. He did. So there was a, a girl that sat next to me that I thought was, oh, my God, look at this. Hey, girl. So hey. you sat next to her. Uh, I don't know how it worked. I think it was a, a random occurrence. Mm-hmm. Fate, one might call it. Sure. You understand? So it got to the point where I started to talk to her a little bit, and it was oh, great. Creeping her the fuck I mean, out. I think her name was like Lizzie or something like that. <laughs> what a great name. Lizzie. Yeah, I mean, she was so sweet. She's the type of girl you, you write little hearts on your folders and like LM plus RP because you couldn't write did her name. Did she see this? Did she see these I folders? hope she did. It got the gist, you know? So we started talking a little bit, and... Oh, my God. And this this incident happened right in the middle of fucking glass. And, and afterwards, I when it happened, I was like, oh, great. This is something I can cringe about for the rest of my life. So I'm I'm sitting there next to, to sweet Lizzie there. <laughs> and uh, we were talking about some test. Like, oh, my God, that test was bullshit, wasn't it? Oh, you know, this fucking teacher, you know. Right. Bonding. That's how you bond with a person, Tommy. A little thin Lizzie. Yeah. Mutual hatred. That's a good way to bond. Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting there, and I had just purchased a Mountain Dew, as one is wont to do in college. Mm -hmm. And I got it from a goddamn pop machine, you know? Mm -hmm. And I'm so mm, high and mighty and confident because I am talking to Thin Lizzy over there, and she is the sweetest, and oh, boy, oh, boy, things are great. And so I open that Mountain Dew, and and I take a drink, and all of a sudden the entire contents of that Mountain (laughs) Dew come flying into my fucking face. Nice. All of it explodes (laughs) like a geyser, like yellow... The stupid Yellowstone thing, old You'd faithful, right in my goddamn eye. Drop the money the shot in the middle of psychology class with Lizzie right there watching. Oh my god! And as my my face sits there dripping, <laughs> caffeinated 
sugar. Lizzie looks at me and says, oh, no. <laughs> and I left the room. Oh. I just walked out of the room. Did you I, go back? I said, yeah, that's right. That's what I said to her. And I walked out of the room. <laughs> oh, no, it's correct. <laughs> I said, yeah, that's right. Because I was baby BA over there. <laughs> you want some of this? And that's how I always get the ribs. Did uh, Dr. Friedman have anything to say about it? Um, man, I don't know. Yeah, he I was probably know. too busy talking. I don't know. Man, they're bitching about the audio quality, and I don't really care. Oh, really? You can't hear us? I guess. I don't know. Uh oh, man. Oh man, I don't know what's going on there. Can you play it? No, I don't want to play it. I don't care about them. Oh, we're doing a show here. <laughs> this isn't live for you. It's live for us. Yeah, that's right. Apparently, yeah, I don't know what the aud- what the deal is. Oh, I see what the deal is. Whatever. Why? What are they saying? Oh, okay, whatever. See, they can hear me because they're responding my to my actions here. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. So, uh, we're gonna open it up to phone calls if you you wish. We do have. Uh, you can hook us. You can uh, hit us up on Skype with Ms. Retail Slave, on the Skype there, or. You can call the Miserable Hotline, 810-328-3826. Why don't you type that in for him, Randy? I don't want to. Let's say it again, slow. Because uh, 810-328-3826. Yes. Not everybody at once. Not everybody at <laughs> once, for crying out loud. <laughs> oh, my God. Hold up, guys. Man, they're all making jokes here. They're all making jokes. What are they saying? About the audio quality. I don't like any one of them. All of you are on my list now, and you can all go to hell. (laughs) Oh, you can all get the ribs. You can all get the ribs for all I care. My God. (laughs) Randy worked all day on this, you guys. Be nice. Yeah, be nice for crying out loud. (laughs) They say it's just buffering a lot. So how is that my problem? It probably is. (laughs) But <laughs> whatever. We'll do better next time. This is my first time, guys. It's always rough through your first time, isn't it? It's not as memorable. <laughs> Talk, Tommy. So I, I don't know do what's something. going on. I don't know what's going on. You looking at me with these nervous eyes. I'm trying to do something <laughs> over here and you're crying. I get nervous when things you got are tears live. in your eyes and you're wiping sweat from your brow. I'm not used to live entertainment. Oh my God. <laughs> I freeze under pressure. What are you doing? You're hooking up your phone to some device. Uh Uh-oh. Hello, you're on the miserable Rebel Wilson. How's it going? Hello. (laughs) Well, this is going great. It is, isn't it? Hello. (laughs) Do you have your volume up on your phone? Oh, man, the call ended. Cool. Whatever. (laughs) Do you have the volume up on your phone? I don't know. Everything's a disaster. Who cares? (laughs) Oh, my God, you guys. If you guys just hold out for five more minutes and watch Randy smash everything to bitses. <laughs> to bitses. Bits and pieces. To bitses. Yeah. You got it, dude. <laughs> Tommy, you know what was almost smashed to bitses recently? What was that? Your fucking ankle. What? Oh, God. Yeah, that was terrible. Yeah, man. Oof. The kids laughed and laughed. Hello, you're on the Miserable Rebel Wilson show. Oh. I heard somebody. Who's this? Six, five, five, one. Just send a voice oh, my God. What's <laughs> happening? <laughs> the people Six, pranking five, us. One. Send a voicemail. Press two. What? I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> Can they hear that? What are they saying? I don't know. Everything's a, just a fucking disaster. <laughs> Randy's going to set this all on fire. I'm going to set everything on fire. <laughs> Oh, man. I asked him before we started. I said, you got everything? Yeah, everything's going to work just fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. All confident like the loser he is. Uh, I am very loserish. <laughs> is there anything funnier than a confident loser? So, Tommy, you had a very, very sad ankle problem, didn't I you? I did. It's all bruised still, like, very badly. It's all blue and purple. <laughs> it's all purple? It is. It's really bad. Oh, my God. I don't know what happened. I had my slippers on, and it was snowy out, so that was probably my first mistake. Yeah, it probably was. It's hard to believe this ever happened because you're as graceful as a swan, <laughs> swan Lake man over there. 
Well, I do it, and I'm starting to scream and yell, and the 11 year old goes, "Sheesh, I broke my ankle twice and didn't even scream like that." I believe that <laughs> to be true. I believe that you were just standing there. Oh, screaming. I was not standing. I was well, scre- laying hobbling. there screaming. Oh, great! That's it. I'll never be able to use this dumb leg ever again. Wow! Did uh, I have this on record? Was this recorded? Just leave me here. Fend for yourself. Let the <laughs> wolves get me. I'm useless to you all. That's pretty accurate. That's yeah, pretty accurate. Did you take it out on your stepdaughters like a true oh, no. stepfather should? No. Come here, girls. Come meet my stepfather backhand. It's about time. <laughs> God, no. Well, I'm glad you're progressing past that stepfather fer- stereotype. I was doing long. something really nice, too. I was taking him down the street. Oh, look. Look at this. We got another. Let's see how well this works. Hello. You're on the sausage. Is somebody there? Oh, I heard him for a second. Is that Randy? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, this quality is so bad. What the hell? Everything's a disaster. All right, I'm going to end this call and pick up this one, I guess. (laughs) You're off the air. Hello, you're on the sausage. Hi, I had to put you out of your misery and call. Oh, for Christ's sake. Everybody use Skype because this is coming in like a dream. Who's this, by the way? Who's this girl? Really? Who do you think it is? I don't know. It's Andrea. Really? (laughs) <laughs> oh, I hear the sass now. My God. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm the only one that listens. God, <laughs> that's a problem. Oh, man. See, this is why you people need to use Skype, because apparently everything else is just a burden on my life. I'm so glad you called in, Andrea. What? Yeah, oh, I'm listening. I was, you know, just doing the dishes or something. <laughs> what is I'm, make, I'm actually making coffee. <laughs> I thought you had your boxed wine. Making coffee at eleven o'clock at well, night. Well, that's for tomorrow. You what know? are you, a brewmeister? You got a. You're on a, an important call on a radio show right now, and you're you're making coffee. I don't think Howard Stern has to deal with this bullshit. <laughs> you are not Howard Stern, buddy. Oh, oh. <laughs> and I'm not Artie Lang. I'm much. Well, you're about the size of him. Oh. You're about oh. the size of him. Speaking of Artie, have you watched <laughs> Crashing? Has anybody seen Crashing? No, oh, stop it's it. So Nobody good. cares about you. It's so good. Let's focus on Andrea. I'm so glad she called. I'm Are you so drinking? Glad. You drinking your boxed wine? It's- uh, I had some earlier, and I'm kind of getting, you know, a headache from it now because well, <laughs> because you're box. old AF. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. Oh um, man, Nicholas yeah. says that Andrea called. I'm Andrea's coffee. making coffee because uh, she's trying to stay awake through Tommy's stories. <laughs> Fuck you, Nick. <laughs> oh, you're on my side? That's something no, different. It's on, time, no. it's on the timer. It'll, it'll go off in the morning. So Tommy's oh, fancy. Like, I'll go do my... Who, who, who prepares her coffee the night before? Right. <laughs> before. I do. You do. I'm pretty serious about this. <laughs> yeah, weirdo. I'm so glad you called in, called in Andrea, because yeah. I was in the gas station... The other day, have you ever been to the gas station? I have. Yeah, a couple times. A couple of times. What do you got? A horse and buggy ride around in? I believe that you churn butter too, with your yeah, yeah. No, with your see, coffee that I, I do full service. With your coffee that simmers all night long. <laughs> My God, I was at the yeah. the gas station, Andrea, and I saw this this. I know you're a big fan of pills and powders. This is why I'm so excited you called in because you're very, <laughs> you're, you're very familiar with such things. So I saw this thing, this product, this gas station pro- powder, and it was called Horny Goat Weed. Horny. Wow. Goat Weed. Yeah, I've heard of that. Of course you have. <laughs> and it promised enhanced performance, Andrea. Enhanced performance. Ew. And can I tell you a secret? It was only one ninety nine. Who knew the secret to enhanced performance was in the gas station for one ninety nine? Are you intrigued? That would be that would be a steal at twice the price, dude. It would be. And can I tell you another secret? The <laughs> box was half empty. Might as well. Or was it half full uh. 
of enhanced possibilities. Uh, it was definitely half empty. <laughs> oh, really? You're not a big fan of the horny goat weed, are you? No, not at all. Okay. Don't need it. You're boring me, so I'm going to hang up. <laughs> <laughs> are we playing next? <laughs> You're boring me, so I'm going to hang up. Uh, oh, you're... Hello, you're on the sausage. Maybe. No, still no, not. No, nobody there. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is how it's going to go all night in there. Oh, my God. life is a burden. It really is. <laughs> oh, my God. He's getting redder by the So side. is your ankle all healed up at this point? Uh, sort of. It, 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 it was pretty sore. Like the first, I thought it was broken at first because I couldn't feel it. It went instantly numb. And so that was kind of really scary. But I was like, oh, I was very surprised to find out I could walk on it, kind of. So for two days, I kind of hobbled around, and then it got really better. Hello, you're on the sausage. Damn it, Peggy, look, Beavis and Butthead are back on. I <laughs> love it. Oh, son of a bitch. How the hell are you, boys? I'm doing good. How are you, Mr. Wilson? Mr. Wilson? Uh, what's Mr. His, Wilson. What's his name? <laughs> oh, you're a dumber son of a bitch than you look, <laughs> Thomas. What's going on? Mr. Wilson. Yeah, Mr. Wilson. Ladies Do you even know who the hell this is? Well, I guess I don't. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the ranty bastard. How's it going, sir? Well, I know sir? that. But... No. <laughs> Hi there, boys. Yeah, w- what a shit show, huh? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, I've seen worse. I've I've actually been part of worse. Uh, let's uh, mm-hmm. let's cue the clip from Tommy's blackout. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that was worse than this. Man, I thought I had all these calls ironed out, but I have no idea what I'm doing. Apparently, nothing's working at all. Whatever. Well, I, I got to say, Skype must be the way to go because it seems to be working pretty good. Skype is the way to go, people. So Skype, miserable retail slave, do it. Ranty, what kind of per, what what piece kind of piece of furniture would you be if you wanted to be a piece of furniture? Because mm, I look at I Tommy over there. Can I really call in for this? Yeah, that's right. Because <laughs> I look at Tommy over there and I see a sofa for sure because it sounds so slug-like and lumpish. The sofa. Oh no, no. Tommy is Tommy is clearly a chair and a quarter. <laughs> a chair and a quarter. What about a lazy boy? <clears throat> Can it be a lazy no, that's boy? Just your, that's just like your credo through life. <laughs> it has been, definitely. See see with Ranty, I would think that he would be a futon. Really? Yeah, he looks like an innocent chair. <laughs> and then you you look a little closer and here's a zesty secret. He's o- he's also a bed. And he's always down for a lay. Oh. Futon. <laughs> well, I mean, we, we didn't call him flipping fucks in college for nothing, my friend. Whoa, my God. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Randy went to a different college. <laughs> we, we know you don't. <laughs> oh, my God. My goodness. Oh, low blow. I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. I'm crying on the inside. <laughs> He's definitely getting well, the ribs. As long as you don't do it on the air, because it might cut out during that during the sobbing. <laughs> well, I would hope so. I mean, this isn't going well, so you know. <laughs> You're helping though. I appreciate that. Is he though? Sure. What's going on in Rantyville, by the way? Am I? <laughs> yeah. Uh we are we are getting ready to have a uh a, a massive episode with four people. So yeah, editing help. Oh, wow. Look at you plug your show. That's and, uh, not what I meant. I meant yeah. in your life, for Christ's sake. But you called it Ranty Bill. That's the name of his oh. show. Oh, that's true. So, yeah. s- since you're on the program... I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to find other people to jump in here. Okay. Right, wh- what are you doing? Well, no. I'll, I'll, just, I'll just send up... I'll send up the flag and maybe have Dr. Penrose give you a call. Oh, my <laughs> God. What would happen then? What a disaster. <laughs> um, we're going to take a quick little... Uh, it could be worse. Yeah. Again. We're going to take a quick little short little break. Ranty can do whatever he's doing and call back. You're listening to The Sausage. Say, 
All I did was stay the same. Cut the fat, came to rage. Cut to black on the crazy train. In wheels off. My dope in, my scalp peeled off. Skills saw with the pen, I'm raw. Don't doubt these boy. Y'all gon' learn about that boy. He go hard. Ben Wallace. Ten haters got ten wallets. I came broke and I left ballin'. That's no joke. And that's George calling. I'm ill. Ain't that a fact? The pure boy, I kick it like pack a lack. We the rap pack, you a pack of rats. Get packed into the crack like, oh, I snap. Cush packs, crack a patch. Blowing up to the track collapse. Where the white girl with the fattest ass. Yeah. Break the ice, you catch a bash, yeah, fish in the barrel. Hood hippie apparel. See me on the beat like Christmas and Christians with carols. And it's the radical, tactical, magical, sagittal, suture splitter. Future spitter, boo. Here's a cheers to new beginnings. Boo the ripper, yeah. He who do it different than you. Who is this ludicrous rhyme I'm spitting? It's written so smooth. When I seen some hustle money, sure. I've been bowling, getting buckets in the hood, homie. Say what you would about it. I know you thought you could, motherfucker, but you ain't cut like that. You was a bitch like that. You ain't from my cloth. Put the city on my back. Put that city on the map. You in my city making that wax shit. That's what the facts here. Man, up and face them. I went crazy on some hippie shit. I'm back where I came from. Who's highs? Oh, you know it's D boys. Since I taught them about an hour north of Detroit. Who you think you're fucking with? My food is thinking public. I do this cause I love to spit in you. Thought you just a bitch. What you really want to know about some dicks? Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Miserable <laughs> Retail Slave <laughs> Show. We've epic, epic fail, guys. Epic fail, guys. You know? <laughs> The epic flim, flim flam men over there were just reaming me for this this live show going on here. It's not working out well because I I don't have whatever you know <laughs> you know whatever. It's not like you have a computer degree or anything. I, exactly. <laughs> Who needs it? Who needs it? It's not like you work on computers for a living or anything. That's right. God damn it. <laughs> It's not like this is your wheelhouse. It's not my wheelhouse. So uh, if you turn... This is exactly his wheelhouse. Oh, my God. So if you tuned into the live show, I'm very, very sorry. If you're listening to this, I'm kind of very, very sorry because it's kind of a mess. But, you know, we'll get through it. We'll we'll work it out together, huh? Mm -hmm. How about that? Yeah, Boy. people were really excited about that. And yeah, and I just, I, yeah, you dropped, dropped the ball. The chicken. I dropped Why the chicken. Why are you saying drop the ball? I Jesus. don't know. I don't know. Get with it. I will get with it, God damn get it. Get with it or get the ribs. Get the ribs, for crying out loud. Um, We might as well try to... Uh, savor the flavor. Savor the flavor. Yeah. Um, This person kept trying to call in, so we're going to try to hook up with them. I okay. guess, even though the live stream is off. Okay. We're, we're, we're still going to try. Okay. Let's give it a go, huh? You Hello? You totally called the wrong number. Oh, my God. Listen to that voice. <laughs> Holy God. It's hot and sexy. Oh, my God. Listen to that fucking baritone going on. By you the way, you we... pants shimmy down. Do you like a penguin right now? Oh, you bet I... Oh, <laughs> Jesus, God. I, I can I can drop it down a little lower. Let's see what I can do for you. Please. I'm waiting. <laughs> I was waiting for some like some real uh, Are you there? Oh uh, yeah, there it is. Very white. Ah, there you go. Okay. I, I lost you somehow. Oh man. Well, I, that seems to be happening a lot. We we cut our live stream here, but we're uh I lose them when we're in the same room all the time. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> How you guys doing, man? Hey, ladies and gentlemen, it's David the producer. How's it going? It's going well. It's going well. I bought out, uh, let's see, about 130 tickets at the Uncommon Ground just so that uh, <laughs> Tommy Thompson can do a private show for me. Oh, that's, that's right. Tommy awesome. Thompson's going to be in Chicago, Illinois. How about that? Yeah. How about that, yeah. everybody? Yeah, Randy Damn told me exciting. you guys are coming. That's awesome. Hopefully, I find the place. Totally coming. <laughs> totally coming. We're just not coming. We're breathing heavy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hopefully I show up. <laughs> yeah, you better now. $24 says you goddamn better show up. Is that, oh, wow. Yeah, my name's in the flyer, right? But my face isn't there. That's that's kind of a big deal I am. It was a plus. It was right. worth the extra couple of bucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that baritone is something else. Let me tell. Let me ask you a serious question right now. When you go karaoke, do you perform Pearl Jam? Is that what you do? You assume that I actually do karaoke. Yes, that's, <laughs> that's right. That's the first mistake. Ah. Yeah. No, uh, no, I actually don't. Oddly enough, I have a high singing voice. 
<laughs> I don't believe it. God, I need you to sing to something right now. Oddly enough, you have a singing voice. I don't. I do not. <laughs> yeah, actually, I, I'm an old musician, and I nice. used to sing the high parts. Yeah, and nice. that's my thing. That's I just crazy. Have a low talking voice. Did, I know. You did you blow me. out your vocal cords at some point? <laughs> really get well, some scars? Three quarters on those? of the sentence is correct. Yes. <laughs> you can tear up some Mariah Carey. Is that what you're telling us? Uh, I wouldn't go that far. No, I can't <laughs> sing out of my nostrils like that girl does. Like, no. like, like at a certain point, I'm like, well, this guy clearly, him and Juliet go out and and they 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 do some love shack, and he's barking like Fred Schneider. <laughs> love shack, baby! you know. <laughs> yeah, throw a little Fred out there. No, <laughs> yeah. I can't do that. No. Damn. You're ruining no. everything for me. I know. Yeah, it, the illusion is totally shattered. I know. Man, oh, man. So, your first live event. Yeah, and it went what horribly. Hell, That's very cool. Ah, you know what? Hey, you know, <laughs> it's yeah. one of those things, man. You it know, is one of those things. You live and learn. I know so much internet bandwidth comes through Troy, Michigan. <laughs> We're in Flint, Michigan, USA. Thank you very much. Even worse. Oh, that's right. You're in Flint. How, how can I keep forgetting that? I don't bad know. Bad water, bad internet. Bad water, <laughs> bad internet. Better. Yeah. I, <laughs> bad podcast. I'm pretty sure. sure yeah, bad, bad podcast. I let so many people down, all nine people that were tuning <laughs> well, in or whatever. consistent. Yeah, geez. Um, yeah, I know what I did wrong, but whatever. Who oh, cares? yeah, of course. He's yeah, going to say that now. Whatever. <laughs> He's got it all figured out, you guys. Yeah. So, uh, what's the wrong thing that you did? Promote it? Yeah, yeah, that was part of it. <laughs> wrong thing. That was part of it. <laughs> the attempt. Uh, uh, the second part was trying it. Yeah, yeah. That was a bad thing. <laughs> Uh, the third part was having Tommy as my co-host. Hey, everybody. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The first, the this could be a long list. The, yeah. yeah, the fourth hey, part was I having... i to wake up at 6 a.m. Yeah. Can you wrap this up? Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> so gonna, sorry. He's going to start crying when we're on number 13, I think. By the way, Tommy, uh, they had uh, Burt Kreischer on their pod. Oh, I love Burt. Yeah. This yeah, week's Bert episode. was awesome. That's, yeah. That is Bert was very. Cool. Bert was so cool that he forgot to uh, retweet it. Yeah. That's, uh... <laughs> uh, well, that's what happens. That's a, that's a, that's the price you take for being such a big time pod and having these celebs on, huh? No, nah, it was it was very cool just to have him on, to be quite honest. And and his wife was so awesome during the whole process. Uh, we we booked it through his uh, wife Lu, uh, Leanne. And she just started a podcast and she's been like sending me emails back and forth. She's very cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. Where, where's Bert live? Do you know? California, yeah, isn't it? California? Yeah, just outside LA. Yeah. Oh, good I you. used to listen to back in the day a podcast called More Stories with Jay Moore. I'm not sure. Jay Moore. Yeah. Well, yeah. He's still doing it. Is he? But I, yeah. I started listening to it when it first came out. So like the first episodes and whatever. And Bert was on. How long ago was that, by the way? Because he's been on for a long time. It was probably. Well, I actually it was probably five, six years ago because I remember listening to some of the first episodes the last time I went to Chicago. So it was that long oh, ago. Cool. Yeah. And uh, Bert was one of his first uh, guests on there, and that's the first time I ever heard of him, and he was awesome. So anytime he's on Rogan or anything, I always tune in because he's great. Um, did, you get, did you guys ever read the Rolling Stone article about him? No. Oh, it's so good. You know that he was the inspiration for Van Wilder, right? Yeah, yeah. That yeah. The whole movie was based around his life. Yeah. And someone told me recently that, like, he has an association with the band Creed. Like he oh, wow. he helped form the band Creed. <laughs> oh my like, God, that's minute. insane! That's wait awesome. a minute. I know. I, I gotta look that up before I yeah. you know say that out loud. But you know, <laughs> somebody told me that, and I'm like, either they're bullshitting me, or this is gonna be the best story ever. Right. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, you can Google the Rolling Stone article. It's awesome. It just they. It's, wasted in blowjobs that's what he get. you know that's <laughs> well, pretty much like the whole what more do you need yeah it, it's, it's that's my next t-shirt yeah <laughs> wasted <laughs> in blowjobs <laughs> were, were you listening well you were listening but was the, the feed cutting out when we were talking about tommy's blessed ankle there yes yeah it, it basically cut out from when you said this is the miserable uh, retail rant uh, up until <laughs> where i called yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just one, one big clusterfuck. That's how we do it around here. <laughs> uh, that's that's what happens when I try anything. 
the worst. <laughs> so, so basically, Tommy sprained his ankle, right? Yeah, it was yeah. bad. I mean, I, I I thought it was bad. It wasn't really that bad. I'm actually surprised you haven't like all your degenerate years. I'm surprised you haven't fallen out of a second story building. Or off a balcony. I almost fell out of a second story building. That's uh, not shocking to big me. Big Jamie Jones <laughs> grabbed me and threw me on the bed. Did you th- really? Did you almost fall out, or were you pushed out? No, I'm just curious. It was. It was. It wasn't second story. I think we were up like twenty stories for this guy's bachelor party in Canada, and uh, and I, I, I slightly. <laughs> Who remember. goes to a bachelor party in Canada? Well, some some of us were nineteen. Some of us were nineteen, so we could drink. You know, you drink in Canada when you're 19, uh, right? And I forgot about that. Yeah. So we had these uh, uh, hotel rooms, and they were on, like, the 19th. David, the producer, floors. is 74 years old. That's how he <laughs> forgets such things. <laughs> and uh, That's right. <laughs> I kind of remember this. I'm running, and I thought it was really funny that if I ran into the, uh, the, the, the wall, the hotel room was just plexiglass. So I would run into the wall, and it would pop out a little bit. Oh, you thought that was hilarious. Yeah. So yeah. So Jamie okay. Jamie grabbed me and held me down on the bed for a while until I calmed down. So man, <laughs> no, I I just got to bounce off that fucking wall. <laughs> That's what I was doing. It was bouncing me back. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so yes, I've always. It's a yeah. good thing that you slowed down your drinking. By the way, yeah, yeah it's probably a good idea for you. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's not really for everyone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some of us are alcoholics. Some of you are alcoholics. <laughs> Yeah, no, I got wasted yesterday, and that was that was bad. But it's gonna it's gonna keep me straight for a couple of weeks, I think. Boy, Tommy, <laughs> I remember just a few months ago on the podcast that you were talking about. Boy, I'll never take another sip oh, again. Yeah. This is never gonna <laughs> yeah. happen to me. Yeah. What happened? To uh, that you now? know what? It's it's the devil's liquid. <laughs> I, I heard it all, and all of a sudden he's like, I can have a few. Yeah, a few that's what fine. happens, right? A few's okay, <laughs> you know. And then he gets married. He's like. Get me the fucking bottle. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's, funny. That's what happens. No, the marriage is going great. I don't know. Um, I <laughs> the, the marriage is going great. It's going great. Is I she going to Chicago know. with you? Uh no, because it's uh exactly. She, she'll be That's working. my point. She'll yeah. be working. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she's she's got to stay. Well, Somebody's really got to pay the bills. To travel <laughs> when you're doing gigs hey. and bring a spouse. I totally get that. Yeah, I mean, if she was, and that's your story, and you can stick with it. She's she's going with me this weekend. I got uh, some gigs up north, so she's going to take off. But she doesn't work on the weekend, so that's how. Here's my big question: Is is Randy coming to the Chicago gig? I actually ground on February 23rd at what? What time is it again? I I don't have the time in front of me. I should have had that prepared. (laughs) Actually, I was just bitching to him that I wanted to come, but I don't know if I can. So, yeah. He's also going to be in Kyle Hogan Falls or whatever it's called in Ohio. <laughs> yeah. Kyle well, Hogan Falls. there's that. Yeah. Well, this week is Chesning, the big map. Oh, who Travis cares? Well, you're going to be in Ohio. Potosky. Ohio is a great state to be in at Kyle Hogan Falls. <laughs> Kyle Hogan Falls, Ohio. Well, you know what? You get all the sexy gigs in the winter. Nice job. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Come to Chicago in February. Right. You're going to love it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> If actually, I think the last time I was in Chicago, it was it was. I don't think I've never not been in Chicago when it was the winter because I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you just need to own a calendar. That's all. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, David, yeah. the producer. I'm so glad you came. You called in. By the way, yeah, save the episode. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah. That's if this is saving it. I, <laughs> I fear for you boys. I really do. <laughs> oh no, we're gonna get back into it. We're just kind of chatting right now. Believe me. <laughs> uh, by the way, since uh, you, we got you here, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> cornered him. You, you're okay. cornered now. Uh, in, in about ten episodes, we got our two hundredth, and we want you and Juliet on. Is that possible? Oh hell yeah, definitely. Excellent. Yeah, and uh, it, it will be real professional. <laughs> it won't be live streamed. <laughs> Does that mean I can't drink oh. during it? Yeah, no, you can't. Can. I mean, that. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Put duct tape over Tommy's mouth? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean. Like, are you and Juliet the same person? Because I've never seen you in the same room together. Hmm. 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 You yeah, did say you, know you had a high sing you voice, too. <laughs> huh. It makes you wonder. Say y'all for me. <laughs> y'all. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. That's definitely a Juliet. I, it's it's such a Juliet there. <laughs> so hey, I, we'll have fun on the show. And 
Oh, you're you're gonna, gonna leave us? Live. He's you know gotta what? get out it's, of here. Look at you, he saw his opening. Can't be a dream. Remember <laughs> oh, <yeah>. that. <laughs> I can't believe you're leaving us. Oh no. Well, he, <laughs> he's gotta be up at six AM. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, I got I got an early trip, unfortunately. Where are you going? I'm actually flying into Detroit. Oh, I'll wow. buy you guys. Close. Close. Yeah, close enough. That's awesome. Ish. Ish. I didn't know people actually flew to Detroit for things. Most people are trying to get out. <laughs> yeah, I got my passport ready. Don't worry. I'm cool. <laughs> ready to escape at a moment's notice. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thanks for Ju- calling in, sir. Julia keeps asking me. She's like, uh, why do you have your baggage at the door? Is that kind of weird? <laughs> like every day. <laughs> Can't wait to get to Detroit. Boy, are you going to be disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's my favorite place to pack up and leave. Right. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, boys. Have a good show. Yeah. Okay. We'll see you. I'll see you next month or I'll, at, in a couple weeks. Wow. February yeah. 23rd. Goodness yes. gracious. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. We'll episode 200. The, you're... the uh, Speedo in the front row. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> episode 200. You've been booked. So. Yeah, consider it done. Excellent. All right, All right see ya. Be good, guys. Yeah, bye. Take care. Well, that was very nice. That that was great. Yeah. He's got an excellent podcasting voice, doesn't he? Yes, he does. It's too bad he doesn't podcast. He doesn't. No, it's Juliet Juliet? does everything. Oh. Yeah. So he, he's the producer. Duh, David the producer. Okay. David the producer. Yeah. Jesus. So I saw this man. Recently, he's been coming into the retail paradise that gainfully employs me quite often. Okay, and he has the face of a bull weevil. <laughs> Little bull weevil. I mean, and this sh- sh- shrew face man really has no basic right to be with this woman that he's with. Yeah, I mean, on a completely superficial level, this is what I say. I mean, he's got no basic right just based on his looks. He's got a stupid 50s greaser haircut. Well, that's Stupid cool. curly hue in the front like oh, Superman. I like yeah, I like that. Dumb, I... stupid clothes. <laughs> and I I mean, I'm not here to judge this lad at well, all. Of course you are. No, no. Listen, we all have our flaws. I only look like I'm carved from marble. I'm not actually carved from marble. Oh, okay. I mean, I mean, you look like you've been carved from meatloaf. You're not actually carved from meatloaf. I thought you were going to say butter, so I'll take meatloaf. Okay. See, <laughs> I have, I hold you in the highest esteem. Sure. Uh, but I mean, they really seem to dig each other. You know, they're oh, they're walking nice. around smiling at each other. A real you know? love story, huh? Yeah, and I go, they must really dig each other. These two. Mm-hmm. You know, and one day I was walking out, and they were in front of me, and they're talking and having their little couple talks and smiling at each other and he looked like he was going to gnaw on some chunk of wood or something you know and nice. I'm like good for this critter <laughs> the little bow weevil huh? this the critter bow. achieved the uggo dream he what? landed one of those hots rather than those knots maybe it's his sister no I don't think so no maybe it is now that I think <laughs> no I don't think so yeah. no I think they're together okay pretty sure and I'm like, if this critter can do it, there's hope for the common man. There really is. Oh, God. Brandy's getting confidence again. No, never. <laughs> never. <laughs> you kidding me? After tonight, how would I ever have confidence? I don't know how you had it to begin with. Yeah. You ever? Yeah. So this this guy, I he, they've been walking around. I see him all the time. And I'm like, well, this guy's living the dream. He's got this girl, and she's beautiful, and they get along, apparently, and it's great. And then, oh, my God, one day I I see her walk away to shop in the store, and he stood behind. He was shopping in this section where I was working. And all of a sudden, this girl is there. You know, she's just shopping, minding her own business. And I see old Bull Weevil march in. Just start flirting with her. And I'm like, who what are you? What the? Huh? <laughs> what do you think you're doing over here, sir? Hey. Are you daft? Uh oh. Do you realize what you're doing? Uh oh. He's sitting there hitting on this girl. I'm sitting there watching. Mouth agape. I'm like, what are you th- you look like a fucking true <laughs> and you're hitting on this woman. You got this woman that's beautiful. This woman is cute. He wants them all. He wants all the girls. He <laughs> thinks he 
he, was he getting anywhere with her? Uh, she smiled and stuff, but I think it was just a pleasant, haha, you know? Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> now I just want to hit on his 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 little girlfriend wife thing. Next time you come in, you should be like, hey, he flirted with this girl. I saw him <laughs> try to hook up with someone else. I got it on my smartphone. You want to see? Yeah, I don't look like a beaver. <laughs> try to try to hook up. Fucking Joey Greco over here. <laughs> yeah, look me up on <laughs> Tinder, please. <laughs> don't talk to me in person. I can't deal. But look me up on <laughs> Tinder. <laughs> gonna get stabbed totally gonna get stabbed <laughs> did you see that episode on cheaters where he got stabbed yeah oh, totally great yeah <laughs> oh my god i'm so upset that <laughs> about everything tonight i like that david was on i like that ranty was on a little bit so oh uh, god all right well, andrea was on for a minute <sighs> Fuck everything. it wasn't all is lost oh my god it, it could have been so much better. I promoted the <laughs> shit out of this, and it was a disaster. Uh, well, at least people know you're trying. Yeah. But yeah, people know I'm trying. I'm <laughs> pathetic even in my trying, but they know I'm trying. <laughs> the boy who cried live. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we'll turn in, nobody's going to tune in next week when we try it. Yeah, I know. That's totally <laughs> it's totally gonna be the name of this episode. <laughs> Boy who cried yeah. live. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Nick berating me from yeah. Epic Film Guys. I Good thought job, he was, Nick. I thought he was one of my best friends in all the world. That's why and, I called us Epic Fail Guys. Yeah. And then and then he's sitting there fucking berating my frame rate on this stupid video. <laughs> like, who do you think you are? What am I, Steven Spielberg over here, you son of a bitch? <laughs> Yeah, like I said, it's not like you have a computer degree. Okay, I'll fight you now. <laughs> Misconnections, Tommy. Okay, Misconnections, let's do it. What city? Flint, Michigan, USA. Oh, I've been there. Seeking a woman to have a baby with. <laughs> Obviously. Those are, those are called baby mamas, sir. Yeah. Hi, I'm a married white man east of Flint. <laughs> I would like to find a sweet woman. They would like to have a child in a long-term love affair. Wow. Possibly marriage in the distant future. Wait, but he's married. He needs some babies, apparently. It's like sister wives. Yeah. I am very kind and considerate. Hmm. Well. Not uh, to your wife. Not to your wife. I mean, that that's the first red flag. <laughs> I mean, I appreciate you want to put a baby in someone, but, I mean, you're married and old, and what are you doing, sir? <laughs> Have a good job and more than willing to make lots of time for you and the baby. Again, you're married, yeah, so I don't already, understand yeah. what's happening. Hope someone might be interested. <laughs> I'm white, 45, 6, 1, and 3 quarters. Very clean and healthy, smiley face. Hmm. He's full of himself, isn't he? Yeah. Why? I don't understand how you're 45, white, and like the bee's knees, and you want to have a baby with yeah. some... At forty five, yeah. yeah. What's going on there? You don't have any. You're gonna be like, uh, you're gonna be collecting uh, social security when this fucking baby graduates high school. You don't have any baby children there. Where maybe his wife can't get pregnant. Oh my god, that's it got real serious all of a sudden. Yeah, maybe his wife's cool with this. Oh my goodness. I mean, he did say like <laughs> marriage, so I don't think she's probably. Maybe I don't know. Maybe she wants out too. Mm. Mm. 45. 45. A baby maker. He he needs all the babies. <laughs> he needs to spread that seed. East of Flint, huh? That's what Darwin needs. What would be east of Flint? Like, um... The Flint River. Yeah. <laughs> he He's a creature what? from the, the Flint River there. East of Flint would be like Kersley. Yeah. Somewhere over there. More sex, headline. Oh. Return, Michigan. Bertrand. Male-seeking woman. Okay. Yeah. More of sex. Course. Of course it's that way. Obviously. <laughs> Do you need more sex? Then send me an email. Oh. I wish it was that easy. This guy like, just has all the sex waiting in the wings. Huh? I mean, he's got unlimited <laughs> sex potential right there for you. He'll email you sex back. Mm, maybe we can me. I don't know what that means. I think he meant to say meet. Maybe we can meet. I don't require donations, nor do I give them. Okay. 
good to know. Okay, you're not a male prostitute. You're right. just willing to give all the sex for free. Wow, what, what a generous man. My God, this man is practically a saint. Don't, don't, doesn't he realize he's sitting on a gold mine? I mean... I mean, I hope he's not sitting on the gold mine, but maybe... He, he is. is the gold mine. <laughs> he's got that golden pee-pee there. Golden rod, huh? Going, <laughs> yes. I don't require donations, nor do I give them. In the subject line, put age... And location. Yeah, that's very important. You got to know the age. I mean, 45, don't cut it. 23, let's go. Oh, you now know? we know Randy. Now we know more, what Randy likes. More than 50 miles away, no, sir. 25 <laughs> miles or less, let's go. He's ready. More sex. I might have, I might <laughs> yeah, have written Yeah, I was going to say, are you going to respond well, to listen. this guy? He doesn't. Does he, does he say sex? Does he say females only? Um, You might be able to get laid, Randy. Oh boy, could I? <laughs> could I? Could I please? <laughs> Blue hair and piercings. <laughs> You're 110 percent beautiful. I sold you a knife last time, and tonight I sold you your first ever buzz ball. Oh, buzz balls! What's I'm, a buzz ball? You never seen those? No. Nah. Little alcohol. Uh, they're like in the. They're like a little ball. Where do you go to buy a knife and a buzz ball? A gas station, for sure. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. Yeah, you never seen... Some gas stations have little knives up by the... Little yeah. knives. But yeah, buzz balls are always right next to the cashier. I don't know if you're single or not. Single or not, LOL. I mean, knives... Probably are... not with blue hair. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's a hot commodity. All I hair. know is you have blue hair piercings and work at Wild Bills, and you're funny AF, LOL. Wild Bills? Where's this Where's this from? Grand Blake, Michigan, USA. Grand Blake. I don't know where Wild Bills is. Someone tell her. I'd like to talk more if you know her. Well, I'm sure somebody does. No, there can't be a lot of blue hairs that work at Wild Bills around. Yeah. She <laughs> bought a knife and a buzz ball. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's have all the marriage. Be still my blue beating heart. Exactly. Yeah, this has been the Miserable Retail Slave yeah. Show. What a fucking disaster. I liked it. I think it was pretty good. This is the episode where we were the Titanic and we crashed directly into an iceberg. <laughs> well, we had some guests. Andrea, David the producer, uh, Ranty. Yeah, nobody was happy about anything. Hmm. Everyone was bitching about everything. <laughs> I'm re- I retire. This is, that. Retire. This is the last You're episode. Done. Yeah, I'm done. done. I'm over it. <laughs> you heard it here first. I, I, I pre- I'm, I'm off the hook, you guys. Uh, yeah. Well, you, you've been looking for a way out for a long time. So <laughs> here, you got it. I'm done. Look at this it's a mutual. Yeah. <laughs> like I promoted the hell out of this, and, and I even promoted this. I and, and what did it get us? What did it get us? Maybe some listeners. I'm the laughing stock again. <laughs> Once again, I'm fucking sitting in <laughs> Professor Freeman's. Fucking classroom with Mountain, Mountain Dew, Dew on my face. <laughs> Thin Lizzy just. Thin Lizzy's just. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> and that's what everybody's saying right now. And what'd you say? And I said, yeah, that's right. <laughs> we might see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>